You know, it's getting increasingly difficult to absorb and to believe what we see in the news, what's going on in our country, what's going on in our schools, what's going on in our workplaces, what's going on at Disney, what's going on, you know, Target, Bud Light, all that. Now Coles, talk about that in a minute. Yeah, you know, we used to kind of joke, not totally joke, but when we started talking about the liberal never, never land to make believe, you know, we, we kind of mused how certain parts of that people were accepting as reality and actually living and living in that reality. Now, almost the whole never, never land and make believe is, is the reality in many parts of our country and in our society. Um, this emotional contagion, you know, I call it the woke 19 or the transgender 19, the WK 19 or the TG 19 virus. It's, it's sweeping America. And, and it's, and, and I'm, and I'm not, and I call it a contagion on purpose. Cause as you know, on this show, we've had mm -hmm. psychologists, we have, we've had anthropologists acknowledge that social contagion, whatever you want to call it, you want to call it um, a fad. You want to call it pop culture. You want to call it political correctness you just want to call it the woke virus but emo there is such a thing as emotional contagions i don't i i, I didn't dig, dig in, deep enough to know what fuels that is is it just a desire to fit in with what what is perceived to be the the culture of the time or or what or is it just something that triggers some in i, I don't know we didn't get into that but this emotional contagion exists and we've got to fight it for. We talk about it a lot on this show. We're going to talk about some other stuff today too, but we are going to focus on this because it's it's ruining everything. I mean, if if we if this emotional contagion spreads, it's going to impact everything from taxes to energy to not just what we teach our kids in school, not just whether or not we um, castrate our kids, and not just whether or not we chemical chemically castrate them or surgically mutilate them. It's going to spread into all all walks of public policy if we don't stop this contagion. So we have to talk about it. I, I don't think there's anything more important. It's not the issue in and of itself. It's how it how how that philosophy bleeds into everything else.